We've got an interesting one today as the shorthanded Metro Magic are trying to play spoiler against the Midwest Mallers who are still in the hunt for their first ever NL Division title. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Meadows. This is Tommy Cogman. I'm Kyle Schultz. Ready to give you a 2-10 versus 8-4 matchup. That's right, it's the Mallers and Magic facing off in the second to last regular season series of the season. Crazy, the season's almost over already, but me and the Mallards are coming off of that sweep against the Gators in Oklahoma. That was a great series for us. What I've been telling my guys is that we played at the big Oklahoma Park and we played a good Eagles team in our last two series. We've only hit one home run in those two series where we had eight in our first two. So I want to get the bats going today and then uh, have a little more firepower there. So at the Meadows today, we have myself, Jordan Robles, Caden Irwin, and Brendan Davenport. No Ben Wilson today who had some work obligations, but uh, us four looking to get a sweep and put ourselves in the driver's seat in the NL. And as for the Metro Magic, they're kind of just crawling to the finish line. Think of when your favorite baseball team is in a rebuilding stage and they ship off everybody to the, the contenders. Literally us last year, yeah. same thing. What I know for sure is that the guys that are here, they're going to be fighting and trying mm -hmm. to win every single game. Yeah, I mean, me and the Mallards were in the same boat last year. I mean, we lost, I think, 10 games in a row going into our that last series. So it was tough, but like Kyle said, like you'd never want to go into the postseason with just a horrible taste in your mouth. Like Getting swept for the Magic is just a tough one for your confidence. So uh, I expect them to fight today. And now let's take a look at the NL standings right here. We alluded to it, but the Mallards are one game behind the Eastern Eagles, 8-4 versus 9-3. The Eagles play the Preds next, so all eyes will be on this race right here as we conclude the regular season. Can the Mallards get it, or will the Eagles hang on and uh, win yet another NL division title? Yeah, we've never got that division title, so I really want it this year. And folks, just a reminder to check out our podcast if you have not already. It's called the Pipe It Up Podcast, where we cover all things MLW and other news around the world and then sports as well. Hosted by myself and Jack Agner. We've been going once a week now for over a year. So uh, we're in the hundreds of episodes now and it's a great time. So check it out on all your streaming services. Time now for player interviews. All right, James, first Magic player at the ballpark today. I love the dedication, um, but you're out of the stand, you're out of the playoff picture. So what, what is it that you guys are playing for today really? You know what? We're here to show that the Magic got a lot of talent on the roster for years to come. Also for me, I'm looking for my first career hit. There you go. And did not have a great performance last game, so you know, that was tough. This, I wanna be in the league a little bit longer, so it's a moral performance for me today, too. Hey, good luck. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. All right, on the other end of the spectrum, you guys are feeling really good. You know you're in the playoffs, and you're fighting for a one seed, actually, and you had a win in Oklahoma, so how do you guys uh, continue that today against the Magic? We're hoping to keep the momentum that we had in Oklahoma, and you know, just build that team chemistry into the playoff time, because that's really where it matters. All right, here we go, Mallard's Magic at the Meadows. All right, here we go. We got Liam Jackson leading off versus Jordan Robles here in game one. Nice pitch from Robles, strike three looking. Right back to Robles, calls everyone off two away quickly in the first inning. Outside, Jordan Curdy with a walk. Nice pitch from Robles. Strike three on Swanson. Just the walk to Curdy, but perfect outside of that. Fair ball to the left side, it's Curdy. Bobbled and he's safe at first. It's a single for Jordan. Swing and a miss on a riser, strike three. Bottom strikes out his former manager. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Trevor Bonham. Shot up in the left center off the LSC panel. First and second, it's another single for Jordan Robles. Two for two today already. In the center field and gone! A three run shot for TC3. They lead it three nothing in game one. This team is hot. Looking for their fourth straight victory. Go, Kate, Let's go, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. And are already continuing that success they had in Oklahoma. Oh, oh, man, man, man. Man. In the center, family, go! The free run shot. Oh. Nice pitch from Trevor Bonham. Got Caden on the riser. Strike three, but not before Tommy goes yard and makes it a three-nothing ball game. Swing and a miss, and a riser over the zone. 
What a pitch from Jordan! A little two seam action there. There you go. Slide drop. Jordan using all of his arsenal today. Risers, two seamers, slurves, slide drop. Wiffle veteran right there. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Trevor. Nice pitch from Trevor Bonham at 72, right below the limit. Strike three to Cogman. Bottom cruising this inning. Oh, shot! God! Hayden Irwin! Right when I say Trevor's cruising goes yard. Shot to left center field. He's got himself a homer. And that's his first of the season, folks. Caden Irwin gets one. Oh, Swing and a miss. Bottom gets Robles. It's 4 0. Last call for those Magic Boys in game one. Seventy-three. He used the speed warning to his great advantage. Strike three. That was his first warning of the inning. What a pitch from Jordan. Two seam fastball. Strike three. Two down. Pair ball back to Robles. Tough play. A lot of top spin on that ball though. Would have got past the bunt line, and Trevor Bond got himself a single here in the third inning. Pair ball to the left side. Jordan Curdy single. First and second. Just like that. They've got back-to-back -back singles in the third. Here we go. Two-out rally. What a time it would be. Let's go, Swanson. Here's Swanson. Oh, yeah. Shot up the middle. Kaden gets him at second base for the final out of the game. James Swanson can't oh, buy a hit in his career. I thought that was it. But the Mallards claim game one, four nothing final score. And are one win away from tying the Eagles in the standings. Shot up the middle, Kaden! No! And play ball. Game two starts now, Trevor Bonham back on the mound. Oh, shot to left! No doubt home run for Jordan Robles. He rounds the bases once more in the 2022 season. Rookie of the year front runner. And he's not done yet this season. His incredible season continues. Oh, shot to left! No doubt home run for Jordan Robles. Ball four to Tommy Coughlin. Swing and a miss. Shot to left. Let's go. Oh, Robles again. Two in the game. And it's three nothing. He's responsible for all three runs. And they break it open already in this game. That's his eighth home run on the season. Seven and eight already today. Back to bottom. Trouble. Tough play. Oh, did Swanson get there? I think he did. He's out at first. Swanson's got sneaky good defense. And how about the recovery from bottom to get him? First warning of the inning. Strike three to Caden Irwin. Shot to left, Liam Jackson. Oh, he's safe at first, beats it out. Jackson gets a single here in game two. Swing and a miss on the two-seamer. 
shot up the middle, Jordan Curdy is going to send Liam to third, he's in there, and he's going to second, what a play oh, from Robles, did he get back, that's call on the field, I see him, I'm seeing a lot of safes, safe at third, alright, second and third, Robles almost gets Liam, coming off that base, but it's second and third now for the Magic and James Swanson. Yep. Swing and a miss on the two seamer again. Strike three. Swing and a miss. He got him on strike. Strike three. Magic leave two on the base pass, and it's still three nothing. We head to the second now. Pitch from Bottom. Nice pitch from Trevor Bottom. Gets Tommy on the drop ball. Strike three. Nice pitch from Trevor at 73. Strike three on Irwin. And we head to the bottom of the second. Game two rolling along. This whole series for that matter going quick. Ball four to Trevor. No, no he no. did not. <laughs> he held. First and second, it's a walk for the King against Jumpman, the MLW version. Swing and a miss. Strike three, he gets Swanson for the first out of the inning. Swing and a miss on a riser. Shot up the middle. In the gap, Curtis coming home. He's in there, it's an RBI single for Trevor Bonham. Advances to second on the throw, and they score here in the series for the first time. Curdy's livid. <laughs> to left field, it's Caden! Makes the play, fielder's choice at third. Curdy puts it in play. But Irwin's solid over there. And that brings us to the BL101 trivia question. Out of these three players, who never played for the Magic in their career? Is it Bix Beaton, Mitch Montagano, or Andrew Gilpin? And that's right, it's Andrew Gilpin. Only played for the Gators in his career. Up the middle. It's gonna be a single for Jordan Robles. Another hit today. Robles wants that batting title. Low at 74. Nice riser from Trevor Bonham, strike three. Look how low this one is. Outside, it's ball four. And it's gonna load him up for Tommy Coughlin. Right field, gone! Tommy Coughlin with a grand slam in game two. It's seven to one. They lead it by six. Team's on a mission this year, folks. Looking for their fifth straight victory. Fair, it's Curdy, it. the throw. He got him at first. Nice play from Jordan. Right back to Trevor, there. Here's Swanson again, covering first for the out. We head to the bottom of the third in game two, seven to one, after Coughlin's grand slam. Hayden Irwin's gonna come in for Robles. Shot to right field, but once again, Swanson gets robbed. When will he ever get the first career hit? <laughs> I feel bad too. He's hitting shots. Just up. Ball four. Nice pitch from Caden Irwin. Look at how violent that drop ball is. We've got two down now in the third for Curdy. Swing and a miss, strike three. The Mallards win the series. 
and are now tied with the Eastern Eagles in the standings. They improved to 10 and 4 on the year with one more game to play in their regular season while the Metro Magic fall to 2 and 12. Strike three to James Swanson there. Davenport K's him up. Swing and a miss at 72. Strike three. Outside. Ball four to Trevor. Fastball at 72. Off the top pipe. Strike three on Curdy. That's a clean inning from Brendan Davenport. And Liam Jackson's going to be taking the bump today in game three. Nice pitch from Liam Jackson. That a boy, LJ. Outside, ball four to Coughlin. Inside. Ball four, we're loaded. Outside, 1-0 Mallards. Fair. To Swanson, great play. Fielder's choice at home, saves a run. James Swanson, again folks, is so good in the field. I think that's really the best part of his game. Kid knows where to go with the ball at all times. Two nothing Mallows. Low. There you go, Liam. Strike three on Caden Irwin there. But the Mallards get three runs. It's 3 0 in game three. Oh, what a pitch from Davenport, strike three. Swing and a miss on an inside two seamer. All these Mallards have been uh, developing that pitch today. Low ball four, great at bat from bottom. That's the same one as the ball three. Strike three there on Swanson. Magic leaves two on the base pass. It's three nothing as we head to the bottom of the second. But first, Caden Irwin is mic'd up. Hey mom, it's an elite club to be a part of the bucket hat club in this league, I'm just saying. Hey baby. Dan, how's the golf game? Below average. Below average. I saw the swing in the simulator. You need some reps. I'm gonna go as Miles Teller. Get the stash going. Oh, Oklahoma fans were awesome. It felt like I was pitching the state championship game or something. I do have fifth grade, yeah. Fifth grade math and science. Those are the best subjects. Dan, make a call. Only the coolest teachers teach math and science, and I happen to be one of them. Come on, Dad. Oh, good pitch. <laughs> you know the, that old clip art pa uh, paper clip from like yeah, yeah, yeah. What, he is had those eyes is that Trev that's I miss I miss you man I haven't made the playoffs with the team I've started with one time <laughs> <laughs> what a stat put that in the stat book outside ball four Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Liam Jackson. Win it. Ball four. Walked him. First and second brings Jordan Robles back up. Fair. To the right side. It's bottom. The flip to Liam. Nice play. Two away. Moves the runners up. Second and third. Foul territory. It's Trevor. Third out of the inning. Sends us to the third inning. 3 nothing score. Let's see if the Magic have any tricks left this season. Going to this offseason feeling good. There you go, Liam. Up the middle. What an out. 1-3 in the baseball scorebook. What a pitch from Davenport. Strike three. Two down. One out away from a Davenport shutout. And the only man standing in the way of him is Jordan Curdy. Oh, 
Outside. Ball four. One more guy on, and that will bring the tying run to the plate. But for now, it's Swanson. Come on, James. What a pitch from Brendan Davenport. They sweep the magic. And Brendan Davenport has a shutout. In game 15 of the Mallards regular season, they improve to a record of 11 and four. What a season for them. With the addition of Robles, Ben Wilson, Caden Irwin year two, Davenport year two, and of course the manager, Tommy Coughlin. They've officially given themselves a good shot to win the NL division title. It will come down to the Eagles Pred series next week on the YouTube channel. If the Eagles win two games, they win the division. If they lose the series versus the Preds, one win or less, the Midwest Mallards will have won the NL division title. Jordan Robles, come on in here. Five hits on the day, two wins, two home runs. Just how good are the Mallards feeling and going into this postseason? Just, just what's the vibe like? A lot better. I feel like that eagle sweep is exactly what we needed. It was like a reality check, and since then, we've bounced back well. So, season's not over, but we're in a great position going into the playoffs. Feel real good. That's right. All eyes will be on that Eagles Pred series, I'm sure, to see who wins that NL side of things. Uh, but that's going to do it for the video, guys. Subscribe in that corner, as always, and see the last video from us in that corner. All of our links are in the description from our Patreon, Twitch, merch, podcast, and more. We'll see you next time.